All right, today is Thursday, uh, November 19th, 2020. And we're getting ready for a road trip, a uh, little Thanksgiving break, Thanksgiving getaway. Um, gonna be going out to West Texas, Odessa Lowrider Show. Uh, I never been, been wanting to go for about 20 years and I never made it out there, but it's about a nine hour trip from where I'm at. Gonna be heading out in the morning, so I got this thing loaded up. Uh, going to be doing a little Texas tour. We're going to be going out there. We're going to swing by in Austin. Uh, we're going to go down to Kyle. I'm going to help my buddy with his truck. Uh, going to be painting that at his house. So I'm going to get some footage of that and get some footage of the uh, show. Don't know what to expect uh, with the COVID and all, but we're, uh, we're going to go out there. We're kind of tired of being locked down just like everybody else, I'm sure. I'm gonna go out there, see what it's all about. Like I said, I've never been. I know this week they got Autorama going on in Houston, but I prefer road trips. So this is gonna be the beginning of the uh, of the video. I bring you guys back once I get some action. It's a really nice car, man. This thing is spotless. This car is really nice. Uh, yeah, and they got some, uh, some guys in El Paso still, I think. The guy, uh, he bought he bought the uh, the black Cadillac from me from uh, Imperials El Paso. Back, man, ten years ago. No, this ain't him. No, this isn't him. He's from El Paso. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, sir. A little, little bomb truck. Mm -hmm. Three thousand people are gonna watch you. This our vlog. Dude, why are your socks so dirty? <laughs> Man, yeah. 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 Don't blame it on. Don't blame it on baseball. Don't blame it on hygiene. <laughs> You can do it. You can get crumbs in the bed, dude. You're going to roll around in your food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, this is a 60... 67. 67. C10. C10. Short bed. Short bed. Yeah, got to have the short bed. And what's the color going to be? They call it... Uh... Tangelo Pearl or some shit? No, it's a uh, sun. Uh, what is it? Something rain. Um, I'm going to go get dressed at shit too. Man, I, I guess the bandana might be in the car. You want we go check? Yeah. Oh, no, I think I put it. Actually, you know what? It's a three stage, so that's going to be the base coat, and then you say you got inner coat inner with coat. pearl. Yeah, it's solar flare. Solar flare. Yeah. All right. And you already did the firewall yeah. and the roof and the dash. And the dash, all the inside is actually already painted. Also, the uh, interior. So we're going to spray this thing right here in the garage. 
so I, I don't see it being very hard. The frame is already done outside. Where's the bed at? I didn't see the bed. In the, in the shed. In the back? Yeah. So right now this is in a epoxy he sprayed last night. One, makes one to one to one. Yeah, looks really good. So we'll bring you guys back once we get some color on this. All right, so here we are. We got three coats of this base coat. Actually, more like four. And it was, uh, it covered okay. But this cab is actually really tricky to spray, man, because it has a lot of weird angles in here. All in here. And to get it nice and uniform, we had to dial in the fan pattern a little bit. But, uh, It's definitely orange. What you think? Oh yeah. Right here in this garage. Yeah. So next up is going to be this inner coat pearl, and it should wake this orange up. And then uh, I think we would do two coats of that. Yeah. Two coats of the inner coat. For that, I'm be using the purple cap. And then we'll, we're going to throw three coats of clear on once that's once that's done. So we'll bring you back once it's uh, inner coat. But I wouldn't need to set up like tennis. I'd have to go. I'd have to go all in. I'd have to go all in. Yeah. So here we are. It's, it's what we say: four coats of base, three coats of the inner coat with the pearl, and three coats of this clear. And uh, we did it right here in this garage. And overall, I mean, it's got some nibs, naturally, but. I like it. What do you think? It's amazing, man. Yeah? Well, I'm definitely satisfied for the garage job. This is, you did all the body work yourself here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the frame out there? Under your tutelage, of course, but... <laughs> a bunch of emails going back and forth, huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice color, man. I wish I could see it in the sun, but we'll be gone. Definitely satisfied with the way it looks. It got pretty Way foggy in here. Yeah. All right. Well. Looks good. All right, folks. Today's uh, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, 2020, and we're back from the show. Uh, took a little detour, went through a bunch of small towns, coming back, stopped in Round Rock, stopped in Austin, uh, helped my buddy paint the cab of his C1069, uh, that was, that was quite an experience, being that it's in a garage with two lights and one box fan, um, but we got it done, I'm going to be uploading some pictures from the show, overall the show was pretty cool, pretty cool, I think COVID played a factor in it. Um, I believe the county only allowed them 50% capacity, but it looked like they had about two to 250 cars, maybe something like that. A lot of 64s, a lot of 63s, a couple 62s. I think they had 160 convertible and 159 and no bubble tops. So a lot of pretty cool cars, a lot of really, really nice cars. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. I'm going to be uploading some pictures from the show that I took and, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.